In this video, I'm going to talk about how you can basically help against cloaking, basically cloaking your AI content so it's not detected as AI content online. Now, it is a little tricky and it's kind of more or less a trial and error kind of thing, but I do have some tricks that will help you within the software. So, for example, I did, you know, write a short Word article about how to improve websites uh, using search engine optimization. So I, I told ChatGPT to do this. And this is the content that it came up with. So if I just copy that and let's bring up the script editor and just paste that in there. So sometimes this content can be, you know, detected as um, AI content. There's AI content um, detectors online. In my opinion, all of them are kind of finicky and the, I, I'd write my own piece of content and type it in there and it says I'm AI. So it's, it's not really that reliable. But there's certain things you can do to kind of help it a little bit, like help protect your content so it doesn't look like it's AI generated. Obviously, the number one thing is read it. Read the content and see that it makes sense. And more or less, like if it's too like technical, take a few words out of there, put a comma, like change just a couple of things. And usually that will do it. But what you can do here, like for example, one, one thing you can do is utilize the Translate Cloaker tool. That's not like a full on perfect cloaker. It's more like a helper <laughs> sort of thing. So let me explain. Let's say for example, I wanted to like take all this content. I just want to get rid of these uh, asterisks here. Take all this content and just slightly modify it just a tiny bit so it's not so AI generated. It doesn't have to be perfectly non AI or anything like that, but let's just get rid of that stuff there. <clears throat> so you, you, so basically you just put the content in here and you click the translate cloak button and they'll throw it all into here. So what you can do is just basically translate between three or two. Make sure you go to one language and go back to English here. I'll just go three. So I can just select, I think the default is Dutch and Spanish or something. It doesn't really matter. Just select two languages and then let it do its thing. And it will go through and this Basically, it's kind of spinning the content a little bit. So you're translating between three languages. You're going from English to Dutch, Dutch to Bosnian, <clears throat> and then from Bosnian back to English again. And now the resulting content is slightly different than the original. It changes a few words, like look at enhancing your website to improving your website. So some words are slightly changed, so it's not fully AI generated now. It's a little bit different. So now you can copy this into your editor and work with this content instead of that content to slightly um, modify it a bit here. So it looks like we kind of lost our spaces, but it's pretty easy just to go in and format it real quick. So just like that, we got this new content that will be better, maybe not perfect in terms of being non-detected, but it's a little bit better and as I recommended go through and read it and you can uh, you know make it a little bit better on your end as well just by reading the content but that's one way you can definitely help with kind of getting undetected another way that helps a little bit too is you can just take some content so let's just take this content that I've translated three times and then go to the prompts and go rewrite and if you have access to ChatGPT4, I recommend using it. Or you can use the Google, or sorry, Bing chat right here. It uses ChatGPT4. So we can come in here and paste it. And so this was the prompt that generated. So rewrite the following content. And then we can let basically ChatGPT4 rewrite it for us. So it's taking a bit here to finish it up, but that's one way we can do it. So now we can see our rewritten content here and we can use this. Now here's another little sneaky method. Let's say we, let's go back to chat GBT in my bookmarks. So let's go here. And let's just go back to this generated content here. I, I generated that article. 
So there's the article. I'm just going to copy it. Now, one thing you can do that's kind of sneaky that I've, I've noticed that works pretty good. So copy that and then head on over to Google Bard. Uh, yes, got to get in there. Sure. Now, since I'm in Canada, I unfortunately have to use a VPN to connect to the US to be able to use this because it's not available in Canada due to uh, some news laws in the government, but that's okay. Once we go through the VPN, I can paste it in here and I can say, Oops, I didn't want to do that. <laughs> I meant to write, uh, rewrite the following content. There we go. So now we do that and tell Bard to rewrite the content that was written in ChatGPT, and it actually works. Then you can take that resulting content, if you want, and you can put that through, again, through the, the spinner tool. So those are ways to help kind of mask or cloak your content so it doesn't come across as AI content on certain um, detection tools or something like that. So anyhow, that's kind of diff some different tricks that I've been doing to kind of protect against that and it seems to work really well. You also have other engines here that you can play around with like Perplexity, there's an experimental one. You can create your own, all these sorts of cool things. So those are some ideas on how you can cloak your content. I'll see you in the next video.